Hi everyone, Dominique here. I'm going to speak to you today about igniting your voice. We'll start with the fact that there's a big aha here and that is the understanding that collectively we as women are on this journey of reclamation when it comes to our voice. The throat center is where we have to express absolutely everything that we are. And that you think of that, you think of how big a task that is. It's a crazy, crazy big task. Imagine this sort of finely tuned artistic kind of energy center having to articulate your feelings, this huge range of emotions that we have, all the expressive sounds, all the ideas we have, all the inspirations, the dreams, the pains, the agonies, the, uh, the intentions, the intuitive impressions that come to us relentlessly through the field of all there is, our personality, our relationships, <laughs> our business, our messaging are huge. Like every aspect of who we are has to be coordinated efficiently here. And the thing is that we have this strange idea that that is gonna happen without practice. And so my big message to you here is that the throat center, your voice, is under the auspices of the muses and that means it is an art form. And any art form, any artistic practice has to be practiced. You cannot be functional here without practicing and the challenge for us is that we have to practice out loud. So out loud, not in our heads. You, how many times have you had the experience where you know you've got this fabulous idea and in your head it sounds great and you go to speak and it's like <laughs> um, uh, it's just a schmozzle blamange mess and you go what happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the shame. So <clears throat> you have to practice. You can't avoid the practice and you have to practice out loud. And while you're practicing out loud, you have to understand that every single one of us, except for a few, are doing exactly the same thing, are experiencing exactly the same journey with the throat center, with our voices. We all make a mess of things a lot of the time while we're learning. And so a lot of us have had this shutdown experience. And so what we've done with a shutdown experience with we're little, we've rejected our voice. We've actually said, no, no, I'm going to shove you away where nobody can hear you because you're a mess or you're not this or, you know, the thousand and one ways we disapprove of who we are and say we are not enough. So we've, we've, rejected our voice, we've shut it away in a nice little prison where we are prisoner, jailer and judge all at the same time. And that's the relationship a lot of us have with our voice. And so what I'm suggesting to you now is that that's not going to work. You are never going to make money when you are judge, jury, prisoner and jailer with your voice. You are never going to manifest an effective business with that sort of terrible relationship with your voice. You gotta get your voice, let it out of jail, literally say, Hoponopono mantra, I'm sorry, forgive me, I love you, thank you, I'm sorry, forgive you, I love you, thank you, come back in, okay, I'm going to have to coach you, I'm going to have to be brave, I'm gonna to have to treat you to some degree like a child that I love, and when you stuff up, and when you make mistakes, I'm gonna say, it's okay, it's okay, come on, yep, try again, try again courage you need so much courage to do this and you need to understand that we're all having to do this we have to have a better relationship with our voice to manifest our dreams to manifest a successful business to manifest money income to support you <sighs> you need your voice and you need your voice in in a way that is like a loving relationship with it or at least a relationship with it that says I understand that you have a lot to learn I understand that you have a lot to articulate I'm gonna be patient with you and I'm gonna keep practicing I'm gonna keep practicing you have to practice 
go and start practicing out loud and be truthful this is the truth center if you stuff up say oh okay I'm working on my message and I'm really trying to put all my passion into it and when I put my passion into it sometimes I get a little wild like I am now you know is this a perfect video no um, <clears throat> yeah so be truthful about your process be truthful and people love truth they really do they love it when you're honest about the fact that you're on the journey because then we go oh phew I can relax and be myself around this person and learn from their skill set so you offer your skill set through the voice I hope that's enough for you today get out there let your voice out of prison and bring her in and say let's do this let's get going I need to learn about how to make you functional and that's why there are speaking coaches you know there's um, Simone de Haas, Mandy Siegel, Laura Huxley Henschel, um, me and Jennifer Lang, they're the ones I know. We're, we're all, we want to make your voice work for you. We want to show you our skill sets to help you be amazing with your voice. Just go with who you resonate with, you know, and, and do this. Trust yourself. Go start practicing. See you.